Hello and welcome finally to my apartment tour. Cue the siren. This has to be my most requested video ever. I feel like I get a request probably every single day and it's been low-key eight months since I moved to my studio apartment. It's my very first apartment ever, which is why it has taken me this long because I had to start from scratch and I am low-key a perfectionist, so I wanted to have it perfect for you guys, even though I still have a few things that I wanna change and add, so just keep that in mind. It is not perfect, but it's my little piece of home that I want to share with you guys. That being said, I hope you guys enjoy my studio New York City apartment tour. All right, so this is the very first thing you see right when you walk in, which is basically the living room. But to the left, I have this gold envelope, which I got from Target. It basically just holds my bills, my receipts, important papers that I don't necessarily have a place for. It has a place right there. And then right here is one of my favorite things for my apartment. You're going to catch me saying that sentence a lot, but this one is definitely one of my favorite things ever. It's a white cloud magnetic key holder. It literally just holds your keys like that. I'm obsessed and it's so helpful, especially when you walk in. So yeah, that's what it looks like right there. And then this is the main door where we came in. And right here we have a full length mirror that I got from Ikea. I actually had this in my old um, apartment with my mom and I love it. It's just really useful, really practical and actually a really good price. I actually want to get a new mirror, the one that's frameless, but for now this will do. It's been amazing for me. And then right here we have, this is my closet door, which I'll show you guys in a few, but this is the coat closet, which looks like that. I have my Herschel bag for whenever I go on weekend getaways. Then I have my leather jackets, some regular jean jackets and stuff like that. All the way in the bottom, I have some boots. Eric has some shoes here and my flamingo slippers. The living room, I'm going to get in a few, but if you turn around, this right here is the kitchen. First, I have this little coat hook thing that I got from Ikea. So practical, so affordable, and it's just amazing because if you saw, I don't really have a lot of space in my coat closet for other people's coats. So I ended up getting this hook thing and it just works perfectly in this area right here. So this is what the kitchen looks like. It's a full kitchen for a studio apartment. I love it. It has so much storage, so many cabinets, and yeah, it's just amazing, honestly. We have the stove right here, and then three little cabinets. This one is actually one of my favorites because it's my handy woman cabinet. Let me see if I could get some things out of here, but it's basically all tools and stuff like that. Important things that I need living alone. I have a bunch of batteries back there that just opened up. And then all the way in the bottom, I have some like DIY situation paints, um, acrylic paints, glues, spray paints, and all that sort of stuff. Then back here, I just have a candle. This one is a coconut candle. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it smells amazing and I feel like it's perfect for the kitchen. This one has a lot of mess in there. I'm not gonna show you. I actually want to do a cabinet organizing video, basically showing you guys how I organize it or how I want to organize it because currently it's not really to organize. Like for example, that's what this one looks like. Then I have this one. This one basically is the most organized and it's all my plates, cups, and stuff like that but i want to make a proper video on how i organize this or how i want to organize it so let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in that oh something that i actually really love about this apartment is that it came with a microwave because honestly i didn't want to buy a microwave i don't really use microwaves like at all maybe for popcorn but it's nice that i have it and i didn't have to buy it this is a clock that Eric got me for my apartment uh, like party situation, housewarming party, but it's not working because I hate the sound that it makes, so it just has a regular time. Now, this right here is my pantry, but I actually don't use it for that. I use it to store either backup products, new products, or just towels and stuff like that, so it's currently a mess, but 
I do want to make a video organizing it. Let me just show you, just be worn. That's what it looks like right when you open it. This has to be one of my favorite things as well from the apartment just because it's so useful. I got it from Amazon and it has these hooks right here, three holders for your broom, your mop, your Swiffer. I have an umbrella hanging here and then inside I have extra toilet paper, that's a robe. These are microfiber cloths, which I love. Extra blankets, extra towels. This is one of my favorite things to have, especially in a small apartment like a studio. I've mentioned them before, but I just love stuffing these in between your sheets or whenever you pack things away. And then under, I have all the mess, just stuff in there, a bunch of backup products, new products to try out. Just, I really need to take care of that very soon. All the way in the bottom, I have more products and then my Christmas decorations, actually just like the bulbs. The actual Christmas tree is stored somewhere else, which I'm gonna show you. But yeah, that's what my pantry looks like. Right here, I have all my pots and pans. I'm not going to show you guys that. Uh, I have all my detergents in here, which is also a mess. But in case you guys wanted to see this one has a bunch of random things a box cutter scissor some tape but yeah that's what that looks like and then in here i have like scissors a can opener pizza cutter ice cream scoop i try my best to make them all turquoise or the same color these are all from kitchen aid the blue ones but then I needed a lime squeezer and they didn't have one. So I ended up getting it green. And then this is actually the best can opener ever. My friend Jill put me on. It's from Bet Bath & Beyond. But it's just absolutely amazing. It's crazy how invested and interested you get with house stuff after you move out. This one is my first aid stuff. Again, it's extremely messy. So I'm just going to show you what this part looks like because it's organized i have all my medicine in here in case i get sick and stuff like that i have my advil i still have the price on that and then my first a kid i have to admit this was one of the very first things i got from my apartment just because i am extremely scared of blood so i feared to cut myself and not have like band-aids and stuff so i got myself a full-on first aid kit but yeah I'm not gonna show you the rest because it's a mess but i'm going to make a video organizing my cabinets i feel like i didn't even show you but i love this granite top i have my soap right here the sink i love the fact that it's so deep just because you could put so many plates in there and not have to do them that often i love this as well just because it has two options i swear the little thing super random but when i moved i ended up buying literally like three of these just because every single one kept sliding off and then i found this one from amazon that holds right here and then it has like the little suction situation you know what i mean but it's the best one i've tried and it holds two sponges which is amazing it's also a really great price this right here actually came with the apartment i guess the old tenants didn't take it with them and it was brand new so i was like i'll just take it and use it and it's been there and amazing if you're wondering what this curtain is it's basically my divider for my bedroom which i'm going to get to it in a little bit i've gotten a few comments of people saying that they hate the fact that my bed is right next to the kitchen but disclaimer alert i live in a studio so regardless my bed would be like next to it you know what i mean i mean thankfully i have this wall that divides it but if not it would either way be in the way so i decided to get curtains and no it doesn't smell when i cook and then right here we have the rest of the kitchen if you've been wondering where my fridge is is right across the sink but it's a full-size stainless steel fridge which i love at first i have to admit i had so much trouble cleaning this until i found the best cleaner ever that i feel like everyone knows especially if you own stainless steel this is what it looks like i'm sure everyone knows about this but if you don't you're welcome it's absolutely amazing and leaves your fridge brand new so yeah they actually also carry different things like granite and stuff like that so definitely check them out i'm going to be linking it down below for you guys i was actually contemplating if i was going to show you what's inside my fridge because i need to do groceries but it's not going to feel like an apartment tour if i don't right so sneak peek this is what 
my fridge looks like. This filter right here has to be one of my favorite purchases as well. It's from Brita. It's just amazing, especially because it has this like dispenser thing. So yeah, I'm going to link it down below for you guys. Alrighty, and then I always, always, always have fruits in my apartment. I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I think. It's gold and yeah, I just have apples right now avocados mango and then up here is my snack cabinet it's actually also empty i'm telling you guys i need to do groceries but yeah lastly from this side i have all my utensils here organized on this little container that i got from bed bath and beyond pretty self-explanatory and then all the way on the top i have my candy jar full of my favorites in here some pancake maker and cereal but yeah that's basically my kitchen i feel like we took forever here moving on to the living room so right after you get out of the kitchen is the living room and this is what it looks like i actually i'm currently really really liking the living room situation i always try to have fresh flowers it's something that my mom always taught me these eric got for me i love peonies and they opened up so nicely and then these two are actually from a plant i got outside that i cut off because it was kind of like dying and i decided to add it to my little bouquet the coffee table is from amazon i'm going to be linking it as well everything is going to be linked but it has some gold touches and then faux marble i don't know how well you guys can see that but it's full marble so it's really nice this tray is from ikea i actually got it for whenever i host but i ended up not finding a nice like centerpiece situation and opted out to use this and i've been using it ever since and i love it these coasters have to be one of my favorite things ever eric's sister got these for me for christmas and they look so nice it's like a smash crystal inside i just love the detail of it and they come in different colors as well it's from anthropology and then right over here we have my remotes move it on to the couch the couch was one of my first furnitures ever for this apartment and i actually ordered a cream couch not a gray couch but a cream one from amazon and i ended up receiving this gray one i was a little disappointed but i feel like it ended up working really really nicely because my walls are actually a light gray shade i don't know how well you guys could tell but the borders are white and then the actual paint it's like a light gray so the couch actually ended up working really nicely now the main reason why i got it first of all it was like 350 when i first order it right now i think it's like 400 but i mainly got it because it turns into a bed and it's one of those l couches which i really wanted as well but for my studio it's really hard to find the perfect size couch and this one works quite perfect in this area i also love that it has storage because the key to living in a studio is storage. This is not organized, but I have a few curtains here, extra pillows, and then some paper and stuff like that. Now for the pillows, it kind of looks all over the place right now since I moved the ottoman part, but I love pillows. I feel like it's an easy way to renew your apartment or move things around. So I'm constantly changing them. But the very first one is from TJ Maxx. This one I also am obsessed with. It's from Target. And then this one is actually an outdoors pillow from Marshalls. One of the things that took me the longest was definitely finding the perfect frame. I didn't know it was going to go perfect with the apartment, go perfect with the couch, and something that could work kind of like all year round-ish. So I ended up getting this one from Marshalls. I used to come back home with like five different frames and then go back to the same Marshalls or like home goods and stuff like that and return them because they just didn't work for me. I found an amazing, beautiful one that I feel like would have gone perfectly there. It was like a New York photo, like, amazing quality but i couldn't keep it because it just didn't go together anyways this one is also new york but it's a painting it's just beautiful it has some white yellow grays which go perfectly with the couch and i like the beige and light tones of it as well right next to it i felt like it was pretty empty so i got these sconces i think you call them i'm probably pronouncing it wrong as well but i ended up adding these fake little candles 
that looks so cute and I feel like it adds such a nice touch especially at night now I don't know if you guys have noticed but the lighting in this apartment it's a little off I mean I have amazing natural light because I have these huge windows but for ceiling lights I only have the main entrance and then my bedroom light and then that's it so I ended up getting this lamp that I got from Ikea it has the gold touch that I have in my apartment as well as the cream I just feel like it's perfect and goes really really nicely right there and then right next to it it's my bar situation which I'll show you guys in a little bit but let's finish off the living room onto the other side of my living room I get a ton of questions as to where my TV stand is from and it is from Ikea I have the nightstands for this as well it just looks amazing it's one of the most affordable ones and honestly really great quality I just needed a white TV stand and it works perfectly with the size of my TV. I'm currently burning this candle right here that I'm obsessed with from Bath & Body Works. Under it, I have three crystals because I am obsessed with crystals. This one is amethyst. And then we have this beautiful one as well. And then just this one that's like a rock. First drawer, we have my games for game night. The game nights that I don't have with my friends. Um, I have Monopoly, Jenga, some puzzles in there, and then other extra games all the way in the bottom. And then right here we have chests. These are just beautiful crystal chests that my mom got for me one Christmas. I don't remember. Fun fact, if you didn't know, I'm actually really good at chess, or used to be. I feel like I probably lost my touch by now. But yeah, I really love this. I have no idea where it's from because it was a Christmas gift many years ago, but I'm going to try my best to find it on Amazon because everything's on Amazon. You know what I mean? This next drawer are the books that I don't read. If you're wondering why I have a George W. Bush, it's because I went to an event once and he was there and he signed it. So I basically have a George Washington book with his signature. I have also a cooking book and then just extra books that I've either read or have never touched. You know what I mean? Typical. In this corner, I have this little heart tray with more crystals because you can never have too many. On the right side of the TV stand, I just have this basket which I got from Burlington filled with throw blankets. And then on the other side, which is right next to the kitchen, right next to the main door, we have these beautiful eucalyptus which used to be real one time and then I just dry them up and use it as decor. Fun fact, I love eucalyptus, especially scent, but it also looks really nice as decor. I also have these three little fake candles and these right here are from Bed Bath & Beyond. My TV, by the way, it's a 50 or 55 and it's a Vizio and then above it, I was struggling to either put frames or mount my TV but I decided to just put frames just because I'm not really going to be here for too long. I mean, maybe a year more but I also feel like this is not a real wall so it just I feel like it just won't hold the TV anyways I struggled so hard trying to find the perfect frames for this area but I ended up finding the most perfect frames especially because they have crystals I found these at Marshall's I really wanted a third but the very first time I found them I only found two and then after I drilled right here I found a third and I couldn't buy it because I had already drilled the acrylic shelf it's from Amazon and it basically looks like that on the side the gold frames are from Marshall's as well and then this right here is the most beautiful crystal i don't know if you guys could see that i mean how can you not be obsessed with crystals i found this one at tj maxx for only 19 dollars, which is mind-blowing because these tiny ones i bought at an actual crystal shop downtown and they were like 70 altogether I know. On to the bar. I really wanted to have a bar in my apartment, even though I'm not the biggest drinker, but this one is just absolutely perfect. It's from Amazon, and I believe it was less than $50, which is amazing. It's the perfect tone of gold. I'm super into tones, I don't know if you know, but I love the brassy gold, not like the super shiny gold. So this one is just perfect for my apartment decorations. All the way on the top part of it, we have the only liquor. 
and it's actually not mine i'm telling you guys i'm not really a drinker i only drink wine and maybe beer i always wanted to have one of these for decorations and we now use it which is great this beautiful beautiful crystal is actually an end book I believe or you could use it many different ways but eric's mom got it for me for my birthday and i am completely obsessed if you know me you know that i absolutely love crystals and this one is just so so nice and it's super heavy so i'm just like in awe i'm going to try my best to link it for you guys but i currently don't know where it's from so we'll see but moving on to the second parts i have some uh, straws in here and then a little shaker and then these beautiful beautiful plates that Joanne C got for me and I'm obsessed all the way in the bottom I recently mentioned this wine organizer in my Amazon favorites and I stacked both of them to put some wine these are little champagne bottles and an empty water bottle but yeah that's basically what my bar cart looks like i definitely need to add more liquor at least some tequila above the bar cart i have this acrylic shelf that i got from guess amazon and then this half dead succulent it was actually believe it or not beautifully filled but now it's literally hanging on its last few succulent so yeah moving on to my office it's super convenient to have liquor right next to your office am i right let me first mention this right here this is my dbot which is a vacuum cleaner or like an eye robot that cleans your floor for you so it's amazing the only thing is it's set to go on every day at 8 30 and if i'm not home it gets stuck on the rug that i have in my room oh my god i didn't show you guys or tell you but the rug here is from bed bath and beyond and best part it was only 29.99 they have different colors i feel like they bring them out every so often because this one is actually my second one i had a 20 percent discount code so i went and got a whole new one just because i don't have an actual vacuum cleaner for the rug like this doesn't really clean the actual rug you know what i mean so i decided to buy an entirely new one all right so for the actual office the desk is from target i was looking for the perfect size desk for this area by the way i hate this right here i hate it with a passion but i was looking for the perfect size table that was white and had gold accent this didn't come with it i actually spray painted i basically spray paint a lot of things in this apartment actually for example the chair bottom parts is spray painted by me i need to redo it because if you could see it's kind of like getting off anyways this desk turned out to be the perfect size for this area and i love it it has this drawer right here which has a bunch of my things we have some lens cleaner my portable chargers some like techie stuff some nail stuff a bunch of markers pencils dry eraser markers my glasses are here this is actually where i keep my glasses just because i don't have anywhere else my passport all the way back there and then on the top corner i have this thing which is basically a first aid kit for fashion quite useful i have two of them uh my headphones and then some extra wires ask me why i need all of these chargers for androids don't know just kidding it's to charge my portable chargers the chair is from ikea i've had this for almost eight years i feel and it's only 20 dollars, so it's been amazing on top of my desk i have my imac the little keyboard this mouse pad i've mentioned on my amazon favorites it's just a succulent and i love it it's super cute then on this corner i just have a candle going on with this beautiful crystal pen holder that i have no idea where it's from literally i i i don't know how i ended up getting that but it has these beautiful little crystal pens that i got from marshall's by the way another favorite purchase for me has to be this desk protector i really want it like a glass top because i completely destroyed my last desk and i made myself a promise that i wasn't going to do that so i ended up searching a protector on amazon with the right measurements and this one came up and it actually works amazing i felt like it wasn't because it's just plastic but it's really nice and then above it i have my dry eraser 
motherboard, which I mention and show every time on my IG stories. And many of you guys are constantly asking me where it's from. It's from Target, but I found the same one on Amazon, which I'll be linking down below for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my current obsession with plants. So I ended up getting this plant holder from Ikea and it has this beauty right here i think in total i have about 10 plants i have three outside but this one is one of them i have this aloe plant right here this snake one right here and then this one eric's mom got it for me when i first moved and it's growing so much it's a spaghetti plant i think you call it and she has a huge one that she's grown for many years i really like it i feel like it's super different than many plants and this stand has to be my favorite as well it's from tj maxx why everything has the price on it i always forget to take the price tag off on the topic of plants i think i want to add a shelf right there and add a bunch of like hanging plants because I just want to make my plant collection a lot bigger. I know, I know for some it's probably too many, but actually it's not that many. Like I want to have a bunch of greenery in my apartment. My mom comes at me every single time I bring a plant because she thinks that I don't have enough oxygen in the apartment and that it's not good for me. But these plants are all indoor house plants, so. They're great. Back to the apartment tour. That's the balcony door. I'm going to be filming a balcony makeover video really soon. So stay tuned for that. But I do want to show you this screen. When I first moved here, this was one of my main concerns that someone was going to come in through that door. So I needed to cover it somehow because I used to freak out every night. And I got this from Ikea and it's the perfect size or perfect size like this but after living here i honestly don't use it anymore on to my little dining area that i don't really use that often i bought this one from guess where amazon they actually came all silver and then i just spray painted them gold clearly the rug is from marshall's and then that's what the chairs look like i like it i feel like it's a perfect size for this part of the apartment and makes it feel more homey. On the center, I have this massive coaster or pot holder. And then this plant is one of my newest in the family. It's a money tree. Moving on to the bedroom, I really wanted to find a way to divide and make the room its own personal space. Even though this is a studio, I was actually considering making walls or buying those slide-in doors. The previous people that live here, I don't know if you can see that, they actually divided that room. But I ended up opting out for curtains to divide this area just because it's the cheapest and quickest way to do so and also to be honest i don't have a problem with my bed being in the middle of everything but i wanted to make it known that that was the bedroom side of the apartment so the curtain rods are from ikea i first got the ones that were like the slide-in ones but those you have to drill on the top and my ceiling is popcorn ceiling i think it's called it was just really, really hard, so I ended up going back and changing it for these, and it turned out to be quite perfect. The curtains are also from Ikea. I get a ton of questions as to where it's from. It's from Ikea, and unfortunately, I believe it's sold out because I went back to get more, and they don't have any more. I opted out for these kind of like see-throughness just because I, again, wanted to give the room just the illusion of the separate room but yeah i just feel like it goes perfect with the decoration and everything else in the apartment so this is an overview of the actual bedroom starting with this ottoman i found this on amazon i've been looking for one for the longest and i didn't know how expensive these were until i started to search for them but this one i found it for less than 50 dollars, i believe which is a steal and it matches perfectly with my bed frame the bed frame is from wayfair i ended up going for a full size for this room i low-key regret it just because i feel like a queen size would have fit quite perfectly in here and it would have been way better but I like the size for now and then again this is from Amazon and you can store a bunch of things Eric has some of his stuff in there this actually also works as seating whenever you have people over now like I mentioned the key to living in a studio apartment is finding storage everywhere so this is storage 
my couch is storage and then under my bed i have more storage especially for my off-season stuff by the way i quickly wanted to show you guys i ended up spray painting the legs of the bed gold clearly this right here is a lifesaver i have two of them and i got them from bed bath and beyond for like 20 dollars. i have a few videos featuring them and how i store things inside so if you want to go check them out it's my closet decluttering video but that is completely a lifesaver now my bedding and mattress are from allswell first of all the mattress is the most comfortable mattress i've ever slept on my best friend actually just moved and she also got an allswell mattress and loves it it's one of those mattresses that comes in a box but the bedding is linen with some navy blue rim the big pillows are from allswell as well the small ones are from bed bath and beyond and then these i think this one was from forever 21 and that one i got on a trip when i went to hawaii with garnier they gave us these beautiful pillows with our names so i decided to add it to my bed because i've been loving the touches of green all right so i get a ton of questions as to where this frame is from where did i get it where did i buy it and actually eric ended up drawing it and painting it for me i have to admit he is extremely talented especially with these like abstract paintings so yeah he drew it for me i love it i've low-key been telling him that he needs to sell these paintings because they're absolutely amazing and he has so many more but my side lamps are from a lamp website which i totally forgot the name right now but i got the inspo from arshia i love them again it's like a brassy gold so it goes perfectly with my apartment i low-key don't like this too much but i ended up getting um some little like sticky things that holds it and it's kind of like not there you know the bedside plants are real they're actually almost dying and i got them at ikea a long time ago and then behind it i have some coasters because eric loves to have drinks and i'm not going to be ruining my little side tables for these side tables let me show you my side actually they're from ikea again the same family as my tv stand and i love them love the white love the height and here i just keep my underwear and then in the other one eric has this stuff in there whenever he stays over i have my charger oh by the way i was going to show you this this is where i stored my christmas tree i got that like huge bag from guess where amazon and stuffed it under there and then in front of it i have the little storage that i showed you i have two side rugs for both sides these are from bed bath and beyond they're just fluffy rugs and then my ac right there Alrighty, so let's show you the magic room Ta -da! wow that door so this is what i like to call my walk-in closet it's just basically a changing room that studios usually have i didn't know that but i'm going to first show you the bathroom because i feel like it would be weird if i finished the tour with the bathroom so this is a bathroom nothing too fun it's just a small bathroom all right let's start right here this shelf i got from target it's just a corner shelf i wanted to put this next to my room where i have like my ac around that area but i opted out to put it here and i feel like it goes perfect i have a fake plant even though i'm kind of against fake plants now that i'm obsessed with real plants but this room doesn't have a window so yeah i know this tiny little coral i got from target and then my two favorite lotions curel and jergens now this mirror um, medicine cabinet was also one of my favorite parts because of the mirrors it's all mirrored inside all mirrored right here you know what i mean this is not too much fun though so let me just quickly show you what i have we have a cleansing oil makeup remover toner scrub contact solution callus eliminator nail polish remover mouthwash and then under here i have this little container i used to just organize it without this but i feel like this has made it one cleaner and two just more organized first i have the toothpaste this one is the one that i use sensodyne he uses crest we have the whitening one in the back disclaimer alert because i know i'm going to get a lot of questions no eric doesn't live with me but he does stay here a lot then i have our toothbrushes these are electric toothbrushes they're also kind of like whitening because it has a blue light they're from ghost smile i've mentioned them before and i am obsessed they clean your teeth so nicely 
and I just I love it so much cleanser Paula's choice we have another exfoliator right there from Lancome green clean which is a makeup remover and then Eric's deodorant all right on to the next side I have some cotton balls here these are you know q-tips some hair stuff this is Eric's little caddy situation I found well this one is actually a makeup container but this this and this and also this are from family dollar I love Family Dollar. Here I have some teeth cleaning stuff, makeup remover, travel makeup remover, ingrown hair pads, and then some extra stuff. For soap, I have this one that I got at Marshalls. And then this is something that I feel like everyone should have in their hand towels. So I buy these from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just feel like they're amazing, especially when you have guests over or just to not ruin your actual towels. Millennial. And then right next to it, we have poopery, which I've shown endless of times. Also a must. Onto my shower. I feel like my camera's not giving justice to my curtain, but it's like a pretty French one. This rug is from Marshalls, Marshalls, Marshalls. And then I have these wall arts, which I just noticed it's crooked and it's going to bother me. I need to put this a little higher. But I got these from Burlington above has to be my favorite DIY that I've ever done. It's not a DIY because it's technically to use it for this. I showed this in my Amazon favorites. You could use it like this or upside down where you could hang stuff in this wire, but I love it. It absolutely organizes my toilet paper and towels, extra towels. I decided to go for the same towels in my apartment. So I wanted to keep it all neutral and monotone. So I went for this color, especially because it goes great with my makeup and it doesn't stain it. And I also wanted to get it from a place where I could go back and it'll be there. So AKA not Marshalls, because for example, these, if I need it again, I'm never gonna find it, you know? Long story short, those are from Target. I don't know if I wanted to show inside the showers. I feel like not everyone does. In apartment towards i'm not going to go too in depth with the products it's just some shampoos shaving cream razor body wash and stuff like that and then on to this side i have the eucalyptus i love eucalyptus in the shower it helps a lot for breathing it helps a lot for de-stressing if you're sick it's just it has so many benefits this one is so old i need to change it oh and then for my curtains i did want to show that i have two i have this one which is a plastic and then this one on these double hook situations lifesaver walking back to my walk-in closet i first have this little shelf which has a bunch of my perfumes it's from ikea i wish i painted it white i still have time to paint it white but that's what it looks like i have my makeup vanity or makeup collection situation right there i'm sure everyone knows these by now they're alex nine drawers but i do get a bunch of questions all the time that lower one i need to like take it out because it has a product in the bottom first in the corner i have this mirror which opens up and then some rings there right next to it i have my skincare collection in this clear glass container anyways these are mostly my everyday skincare i do change it up like i have a bunch of eye creams serums here moisturizer setting spray just a bunch of different things. I'm not going to go too in-depth, but if you want to see a makeup collection, let me know in the comments below, and then I'll show you each of these drawers. But at the end, I just have some earrings. I honestly wish I had like a better way to display these because I have a lot, and it just piles up. So for now, I just have it in this little like flower marble flower container all right moving on to my makeup brushes i get endless of questions about this probably every single day and it's basically just an organizer for utensils from ikea so it's a kitchen gadget thing i first featured it on my room makeover back in my apartment and then when i moved i ended up also adding it here because i think it's the best way to organize your makeup brushes especially if you're someone like me that has to have this many. My clothing rack is from Amazon, of course. These hangers are from Marshalls. I just have like my frequent or newest items displayed. Above, I have these two little succulent holders from Target with real um, eucalyptus. And then my 
YouTube plaque for my shoes. I brought back my shoe collection. I had another one of these and I ended up throwing it away. These two are so old and so beat up, especially when I moved, like everything. We basically brought them just like this and the back, I don't know if you could see, but the back is completely broken. But yeah, this is basically my shoe collection. I have some purses all the way in the top and then some more perfumes. This is one of those automatic Febreze things and then my jewelry collection. So when I moved, my jewelry actually was thrown out by mistake by my boyfriend. So I needed to start from scratch with my jewelry and that's what it's looking like so far. These are from, you guessed it, Amazon. I've mentioned it so many times, super practical. Definitely recommend to everyone, especially because they're adhesive and you don't have to drill anywhere. The jute rug is from Marshalls. I love these types of rugs now so much. This little trash can, Ikea. And then in the back is this little table whenever I do makeup videos that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. This also featured in one of my Amazon favorites. It's basically, so whenever the door hits, it doesn't make a hole back there. Some of you guys already know this, but I love nail polishes. So I have this nail polish collection going on. The acrylic organizer is from my favorite place, clearly. And then I have some perfumes up there. As to my actual clothes, I have them in here. I've made a closet decluttering video, so if you guys want to see that, I'll link it down below for you guys. This is another Amazon favorite. It's a laundry basket that has wheels, has some handles here, and then that like mesh thing. It's just super easy for me to take downstairs to the laundry. All right, so that was pretty much my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, everything's going to be linked down below, so make sure to check that out. I'm going to be listing everything in order as I showed it to you guys. I hope you liked the tour. I'm sorry that it was so long, and thank you so much if you stuck around to the end of the video. Love you.